This has been quite the month. There has been a few notable releases and announcements in the gaming world. E3 is just around the corner and there are many exciting games to come. For this video, however, I wanted to focus on two influential people in the gaming world, Total Biscuit and Ted Dabney. This is Benjamin Blue Forever. YouTuber and game critic John Bain, Total Biscuit, passed away recently after his battle with cancer. He was only 33 years old. News of his death sends shockwaves through the online world as countless people have posted of his death. On a Reddit post last month, he talked about retiring. He did not have very long left to live as he was no longer responding to chemotherapy. He wrote, I can't do the job anymore. I'm under the influence of too much medication to think clearly and my schedule too unreliable to get coverage out in a timely manner. He also said of his illness, there is literally nothing I can do about it other than try to manage the pain as best as possible and stay as hydrated as possible to ease the pressure on the liver. It is rather unfortunate that we lost a fellow gamer. I did not know much about him, but seeing how so many people have been affected really says something. His influence on the gaming world is felt. He will be missed by many. Fans on Reddit will remember Bane as an advocate for gamers who support indie developers through his videos and on the co-optional podcast. He lives on through the countless videos and podcasts produced over the many years of creating content. His YouTube channel having over 2.2 million subscribers. Atari co-founder Samuel F. Ted Dabney passed away at the age of 80 years old from esophageal cancer. Ted deserves an honorable mention for his contributions toward Atari and the video game industry. It's pretty sad that his name is not generally remembered and his ties with the gaming world fell into obscurity in the following years after leaving Atari. His name surfaced in 2009 and again in 2012 for the Video Game History Museum's Oral History. Here are some really interesting things I learned recently. In 1971, Dabney created a firm called Syzygy Engineering with Nolan Bushnell. The word Syzygy is an astronomy term used to describe the alignment of three or more celestial bodies. The pair developed Computer Space, the world's first commercial arcade video game, which was based on a game called Space War a game created at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Prior to computer space, video games existed almost entirely as novelties passed around by programmers and others with access to computers, mainly at research institutions and large companies. A year later, Dabney and Bushnell wanted to incorporate, but discovered Syzygy was already taken by another company. Bushnell wrote down several words from the Japanese game Go, eventually choosing Atari. A term in the context of the game means a state where a stone or a group of stones is imminently in danger of being taken by one's opponent. Or check for short, Atari Inc. was born. After the success of Computer Space, Atari went on to release Pong, which was an even greater success and is considered to be the game that launched the video game industry. Dabney left Atari in 1973 after a falling out with Bushnell, but continued to help him with starting his Pizza Time Theater by making some games including an arcade quiz game and also with the automated ticket number system used by the restaurants. After the Pizza Time Theater went under and Bushnell was not able to pay what he owed, Dabney ended their friendship. The funny thing is, Pizza Time Theater was the predecessor to Chuck E. Cheese. There is more to the story which didn't paint a positive picture of Dabney's experience while working with Bushnell, but I won't get into that. If you want to learn more about it, many others have wrote about it. You can also read more in the oral history online. This may have contributed to Dabney leaving the world of video games, which I find devastating. We have so many people to thank for the evolution of video games. The people who create, 
the people who play and the people whose voices can be heard. This is truly a time to be able to experience these interactive odysseys. Thank you for watching.